awesome YouTube audience. In today's episode, we're looking at redstone. Now, I should explain a little something to you before I start sharing you anything, and that is is that this server is, and that's a lot of times that is that there. Anyway, um, that this survey is, is completely dedicated to redstone. So, without sharing you anything of the actual main stuff as you can see as far as the eye can see or at least your render distance can see everything is redstone now to be able to build on this server in the first place you have to apply and you have to share reasons and you have to show knowledge of your work um, so basically yeah the main aim of the server is to build awesome amazing like uh, redstone creations the better ones you build the better um, uh, the better ranks you get so yeah basically if you build a really really amazing thing that like no one else can build then you're gonna get a pretty high rank now I only started on a server two days ago so I am still currently a learner so uh, say hello to YouTube YouTube so yeah that's me there obviously um, so yeah um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to show you today is rock, paper, scissors. Now basically what you see here is the main screen. This is the screen interface. So basically if you win, if you lose, it will show who is winning and it will also show um, if it's a tie up in this corner over there as well. So yeah, um, let's just give a quick little demonstration. So rock versus paper. Obviously player one's going to win that. Or it's a tie. Rock versus... Nope. Player two's going to win. So yeah, as you can see, uh, later on player two did actually win. Uh, it changed. So uh, if I want a tie, then I would go to rock, rock. Rock, 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 and there we are. We got a tie over there. Slight delay, obviously, because it's a lot of repeated. So yeah, if I want player one to win, scissors versus the rock. Come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. There we are. Player one win. So as you can see, it says win player one, player one. So yeah, uh, scissors. Rock player two is gonna win. Uh, there you can see it. So yeah, blah blah blah. If you win, you win, and it shows up on the screen. So yeah, this took a lot of wiring. I will show you the very basic of this game. I'll show you the very basic wiring. Just down here, as you can see, slightly different interface. You can no longer see anything in front. You are actually told by lights such as this. Uh, so rock versus rock. You will get a draw as soon as it works. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, that's because that is the wrong way round. Wrong way round. So turn that on. That will then go into that. Just turns it off like so. And that means I will now be able to go into here rock versus rock and there we are you can see it's a draw on both sides now this should in theory reset but it's because I've screwed this bit up this is the reset line obviously yeah so yeah uh, do, 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 do. so yeah this bit here isn't meant to be attached that's why it's not working um, but yeah, bloody blah, blah blah. So yeah, that's the basic mechanism behind it. Uh, I will show you how this actually works. So what we got here are the inputs. So we got rock, paper, scissors, scissors, paper, rock. So yeah, as you can see, it's the same inputs from both of them, and they all line up very nicely with the decoder. Now what the decoder does is it basically detects the inputs with redstone torches so if um, if this one is up it and I clicked the rock so basically it would show that rock was active because this light would go off 
and if I chose rock on the other one it would show this was active and because all of these are also off this would then turn off completely as well this would turn off completely and then it goes into this second bet uh, this is the win tie loss detection unit so basically oh wow stim um, yeah I haven't seen them in a while so um, basically uh, yeah, this is a win tie detection thing. So this shows who's winning. So on the left hand side, we got player one winning. Every time there's a torch, it's where a player one will win. Every time you got a torch on the right hand side, well, in the middle actually, uh, it shows player two winning. And then on the very far right side, is the tie so if no one's won then it's a tie so as you can see here redstone running all the way underneath that means that if any of these torches light up it will detect it and carry it through into this thing now this thing therefore then runs into the reset line which I will follow so it goes down here through there through there and then that's reset in player one then that goes down through here across there to reset player two so yeah there's that uh, then also we've got player one output player two output and then the tie output so as you can see the tie output is going up there so yeah blah blah, blah. at the moment I've got a couple bugs with the system which means that I have to actually block the output until it is the true output. So every time, every now and then, it was detecting a, a false output as such from a different line, and I've currently not identified that. That takes a lot of work. Obviously, with this amount of redstone, it's quite hard to identify what the problem always is. So yeah, there's that problem. Um, so yeah, that's the tie line. Uh, this are these are the outputs for the actual screen. So this determines what it is that pops out and when and why. So yeah, this bit here is the RAM module. So basically, we got uh, a byte of RAM here. We got three bytes of RAM. Now basically, what RAM enables you to do is to store data, store the outputs. So, for example, if I save this to be on, it, this would always be on, and then whenever I wanted to use this, so when this line was activated, it would therefore show it as on. So, no, when this line is activated, it unpowers these torches, which allows this output to show its true colors. So, if this was on, that would obviously stay off as if it's off and this goes off then it would turn on meaning that the output is on so yeah the output goes this way so it get, follows all the way down through all the RAM modules making sure there's a repeater at every block that it interfaces with the next RAM module and then you basically hook these up with the actual <coughs> oh, sorry YouTube body uh, with the actual um, segment of the text that you want to line it up with as you can see here this is pl this is a win uh, tie thing so every time you win it would show up win here and every time you tie it would show tie there so yeah as you can see that's getting its line from the tie line which I showed you and this is getting its uh, thing from uh, all of the lines as you can see all of the lines are outputted here uh, this is the second output which means that these torches are off normally uh, if one of the lines is activated it means that it would turn this to one of these torches on this torch turns on this redstone which turns this torch off that in turn means that this is turned on that goes up to there turning on the win and also at the same time it pops down over to here and follows up to activate the player player the um, player sign so yeah that basically every time the win is activated the player is activated if these two aren't activated then the tie is activated because that is the only other possible output 
um, at the moment. I mean, obviously, I can make it so that uh, when you lose, it's going to show you lose, but that'll probably be on a separate screen. So, yeah, when it's turned on, it just pops out of the screen here. So, uh, the reason I'm using water is because it basically helps it. Uh, help you see the actual uh, wall blocks as if you just got a plain white wall black background uh, then you're not going to be able to see it which means that this basically just advances it so yeah that's the very basics of this uh, to be able to actually wire this you need to know about binary for starters then you need to know about decoders then you need to uh, well first off you need to know the basic logic gates that is a very basics of uh, redstone so yeah learn your uh, learn your logic gates then if you want to be building stuff like this learn your binary which is the very start of computers after you learn binary start decoders which detects inputs and then once you've got decoders build ram module uh, which means you can store data and then after that yeah blah 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 until you can start building awesome stuff like this and calculators and stuff like that so yeah uh, the next thing I'm going to be doing for this is building an AI com control which is basically artificial intelligence which means you can play against the computer uh, but yeah as of yet I'm still working on designs for that so that won't be for a while yet I will let you know when the designs are up and uh, yeah so that's about it for now if you got any questions uh, link me up uh, on my inbox or my PMC and I'll be more than happy to help you if you want any tutorials add me on Skype and we'll join a server and I'll show you some